Honda is betting big on Mobilio, a seven-seater that will compete with Maruti's Ertiga, Nissan Evalia and Toyota's Innova. To discuss what this means for the company, I'm joined by Naneshwar Sen, Senior Vice President for Marketing and Sales at Honda. I'm also joined by Bloomberg TV India, Swati Khandelwal, who's standing by. Uh, Swati, take me through why this, is, why this is such a big deal first and how does Mobilio stack up against competition? Well, clearly, Arsha, this is the first MPV from Honda Stable, and this is a significant launch for Honda. Remember, they've been uh, doing well as far as the Brio Amaze is concerned, and this is based on that same platform. Now, uh, why is this segment important? We've seen other car manufacturers do very well and uh, scale up their numbers in that MPV space because clearly the demand is coming in, and Honda is now present with, uh, in this segment with the uh, Mobilio. Now, this will come with 1.5-liter diesel and petrol engine options. What's important and interesting is that the company claims that it's going to be the most fuel efficient MPV. You're talking about 23 to 26 kilometers per liter, sort of a average from the diesel version of this and that's quite promising really as far as the MPV segment is concerned. The price of course is something that we'll watch out for but it's expected to be in the range of uh, six and a half to eight lakh rupees. That's the price range that we are expecting this product to come out with. Uh, what's interesting and what's, what, what's, what's been seen is that Maruti uh, just a week uh, ahead of this launch, had uh, slashed prices of Ertiga by almost 70,000 rupees. Now, this is obviously in the run-up to, uh, you know, get uh, attention on them. And we know that the company has uh, sold al already 1,50,000 units of Ertiga. So they celebrated that launch. They spoke about how uh, they've been, uh, they will launch a limit limited edition and, of course, the slashing of prices of almost 70,000 rupees as far as Ertiga is concerned. So clearly making some noise, uh, 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 Honda Mobilio, and uh, with the promising on the fuel efficiency and the new segment altogether, it will be a big launch from Honda. Swati, thank you for that. Uh, let's talk to uh, Nyaneshwar Sen from Honda to talk about why this is important. Mr. Sen, thank you so much for joining us on Bloomberg. What's the game plan for the Mobilio? What do you want Mobilio to achieve? Actually, the game plan started a long time back when we started uh, understanding our customers and based on their needs and the competitive gaps that we saw. Uh, we designed a mid-size, stylish seven-seater. And uh, as you know, Honda has this philosophy called man maximum, machine minimum. So we have been able to liberate a huge amount of space inside the Mobilio for seven adults. And that is the fundamental need also of these customers. And we have married that uh, excellent space uh, with a great styling from outside with the best fuel efficiency in the segment. So we are very confident about the success of the Mobilio. Do you have a target market share in mind? What kind of numbers do you hope to achieve in the initial stage? See, uh, numbers uh, depend on the number of customers. So we will make as per demand uh, of uh, the Mobilio. So uh, we'll get to the numbers a uh, little later, I think. Because initially, any new car does well. What is more important is sustainability of volumes. And that is what we are working towards. Mr. Sen, you know, we've seen this segment, the multi-purpose vehicle segment, have already have fairly well-entrenched players. Ertiga, Innova, they're all, they've already been reacting with price ops and all, I understand. Uh, how, do you, how can the Mobilio counter that? The Mobilio is surely going to lead to the evolution of the MPV segment. So, currently the Mobilio segment or the MPV segment is basically uh, driven by customers who are out there to fulfill their rational needs primarily. And Mobilio will carve out its own space and it will lead to the evolution of the MPV segment and most probably it will expand the segment as well. So that is how we look at the MPV segment uh, going forward. A broader question, Mr. Sen, what is your assessment of uh, the demand in the industry as a whole? Uh, do you expect a pickup? By when do you think that pickup is likely to happen? Yes, we do. Well, the industry has had a very tough two years, and there are some green shoots as, as seen by the figures of the last two months. So there has been some growth in the industry. But it's still too early to come to the conclusion that we have turned the corner. I think the f coming festive season would give us a clear indication uh, how well the market is reviving or if it is reviving uh, at all. But given the other uh, 
sentiments that are building up, you know, Sensex is at an all-time high, and um, inflation seems to have come down a little bit, and some other feel-good factors would lead to an improvement in sentiments. Now, how long that uh, change in sentiment takes uh, is actually to be seen, but it is surely changing, and once the sentiments of the consuming class changes, we will surely see a boom in the automotive market. One final question, Mr. Sen. You know, as you head towards festive season, uh, are you expecting higher level of discounting? Do you expect prices to get lower? See, discount is a function of gap between de demand and supply. So if supply is more than demand, there will be a pressure on prices or, let's say, discounts. So if the market picks up, then we may not see a reduction in price or increase in discount levels. But let's assume that the market picks up. Even in a, a growing market, there would be some winners and losers. So, you know, you can't draw uh, uh, the canvas um, uniformly across. So there will be winners and losers. And so discounting would vary from brand to brand or model to model and over time.